towards Bulk direction. We've sent some of our men after him. He's wounded one of them. Oh. 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 I don't know what kind of hatred this is that had to lead to his death. That's why he insisted in the middle of the night to change rooms. And he went to sleep in the room that I was supposed to be sleeping in. He was a loyal man, a kind heart man, and he lost his life because of the vow he had made. This is what it means to take refuge in what God has planned for us. Be content. We must be content with the will of God. May God shower his blessings upon him. And may he be blessed with a place in heaven. Amen. Come on, son. Get up. Get up. have to lose the people that I love so soon in life. Look, my son, the more God loves you, the more difficulties he puts you through to make you become a stronger man. It's a sign of being close to him. Haven't you heard the story about the two lovers, Lely and Majnun, and the bowls? Of all the bowls she had, she always broke only Majnun's. Her intention with this was to test how strong Majnun's love was for her. And each time he came back with a broken heart. But each time he also came back with a newer bowl. Your heart is like your bowl, Jalaluddin. Every time it breaks, it also becomes newer. It means God loves you. And with the amount of pain that your small body has endured in your small time on earth, you will be granted a very, very sweet gift. You will realize what that means soon enough, Shalalati. The mind is like a butterfly. 
and the beloved is like a candle. A butterfly is prepared to burn with the flame of the fire and die. And a real butterfly is one which doesn't turn away from the candle even with all the pain and burn. grateful for the news that you've brought. You can go home and rest now. They will take good care of you. Listen very carefully to what I'm going to tell you now, and remember it. Ha! <laughs> 
the news that you have brought us. <laughs> Even though, I wish he was still alive and I could scream at him and threaten him to stay silent. But Hafiz, the story of Bahadin being dead must be accompanied by some kind of proof, or at least a witness. Ah, and it was with this hand that you struck him, right? No, sir. With this hand. I always kill with my left hand. If your intention is to take away the two bags of the coins that you owe me in favor of the treasury of the Muslims, I will overlook it straight away. The way that Sheikh Kamal Eddin has always worked as he only accepts things that are proven. There have been many things that have been said and heard that seem real but turns out to me untrue. Huh. It's obvious you have killed. Take it. Until we see how things... how things turn out. Gains, you will fall into difficulties. One who's in love goes through many difficulties for his gains. These words were written by Atar. Recite me something from Atar. Oh God, your blessing is the sea of knowledge. Only a drop of your blessing is enough for us. In your path, those who lost their lives became great in the realm of love. Please light my heart with your greatness, oh God and make my heart able and satisfied. The yearning of reaching you is burning everyone. Don't burn everyone because of my separation from self. You are reciting it from heart. I don't know a tar of by heart. Should I recite, Sanayi? Go ahead. You do not need to eat and sleep. You are free of doubts and similarities. You are free of faces and colors. You are free of flaws and faults. I can't describe you in any way because you cannot be comprehended. I can't speak of your likeness because you can't be comprehended in the mind. We have two messengers here from Rokh and Adin, from Aksikat and Halavad. Mongols have destroyed more than seven cities and 30 towns from the Chaganian to the Khobadion. After Bukhara and Samarkand, it will be Aksikat and Halavad which will burn in the flames of the Tatars. It seems it's their tradition. Whichever city they attack, they make the youth do hard labor. They make them... 
dig trenches and carry wood and stones around. The ones that are left, they simply behead and raise what's left of their houses. It's quite astonishing to me that they haven't turned to Horazm yet. But what's even more astonishing to me is that Sultan Muhammad hasn't even sent any soldiers over there to stop the enemy. The number of Horazm soldiers are more. It doesn't make sense to me. It is because there is infighting, Zakar Zakaria, between mother and son. It really does astonish me the way that those who are in power can just simply stop caring about the people. Well, you know the people are just like stairs when it comes to kings and sultans, sir. Of course, you are an exception to this accusation. You were being sarcastic, but the truth is I am not an exception, Sheikh Kamal Eddin. I know myself. But even I have no idea of how it happens, and which door it enters from. Does the writing say how many of Cengiz's soldiers are coming toward the city? Does it say? It says Genghis divided his army into four divisions before he reached Otra. Three divisions each have 70,000 men. They've been sent to Otra, Jand, and Kojand. And the greater part of the army is waiting to march towards Khorazim. This is someone else's story. It's nothing to do with us. What should concern us the most is that the Mongols have now reached all the way to Aksakat and Halavat. So in three or four more days, they would have reached Talmaz. And Talmaz is not too far away from Balk. So what now, sir? What do we have to do? What we're sure about from the things that we've seen and heard is that there is no victory when it comes to the Mongols. So if I understand correctly from what you're telling me is that we should just leave the city to the Mongols and run away somewhere? I'm sorry, but from what I've heard, they only use the young for labor. Either way, surrendering to these people should not even be an option in my opinion. In some of the cities, it's been said that there was no resistance. They even went to greet them with gifts. And still none of them were spared from Genghis's sword. But for me, it's about confrontation. Outside of Balk. On the way to the entrance of the city, not more than six kilometers away, there are two stone columns with valleys in between. I suppose you've seen them? There's a bridge going over them as well. We will soak the bridge with all the flammables we can find and wait on the other side in secret. And when the Mongol army appears and steps on the bridge, we will set it all on fire and send them straight to hell. I'm afraid we will need weeks and weeks to plan and execute this plan, sir. We don't have any time left, sir. We should escape and try to save our own lives. That's not true. Never in my life will I surrender the city to the Mongols. They have a companion on the inside who will open the door for them. This is the order to transfer the treasury of Balk to the one in Georgionye. Immediately! You can say a thousand things from the outside. It will be useless unless someone on the inside believes you. Just like a tree which has no water at the root. Even a thousand floods will not make it bear fruit. The only way that it will bear fruit is when it is watered at the root. 